Whoa, this is the illusion reporting from somewhere on Spaceship Earth. Here at work and no one's here and I'm locked out of the house, so I'm killing time. Time to make video, right? So I carry these little books in my car by Vernon Howard. And this one's 100 Ways to Defeat Satan. So, you know, I figured I would pop this open and we would, we would read some of the ways to defeat Satan. All right. 100 Ways to Defeat Satan by Vernon Howard. Halfway Hell, number 67. Malicious spirits eagerly trap people in a halfway hell. The torment starts when one part of, of you wants to do something and the other part objects. You start an exciting drive to somewhere, but halfway there, your mind changes and you yearn to stop. You battle between go and stop with both sides equally in insistent. You were caught between two lying promises of self-security. Spiritual wholeness will break the ache. Travel to wholeness. Ah, don't get caught in the halfway hell. I mean, to me, that's just like, commit, man. Commit. Hesitation killed the mouse, right? That's the one thing I always say, man, in my head. Hesitation killed the mouse, especially when I'm out surfing and stuff. Like, once you've decided to go for a wave, man, you got to go for it all the way. Because if you don't go for it all the way and you miss it and you turn around and there's a cleanup set, guess where that cleanup set's going? On your head. Nothing worse than a cleanup set on your head. And that's usually because you got caught in the halfway hell. Number 67. Number 75, the zoo. How would you describe your mental activities? One man described his mind as a zoo gone mad with shrieking and crawling beasts. He, des he was describing his sudden explosions of worry and frustration. A bored and unhappy person is always looking for an excuse to turn loose his mental zoo just to give himself a few exciting minutes. Absolute horror. You must have none of this. Don't yield to excuses. Your mind was not meant to be a zoo. Whoa. That one is so true, man. It really is. I, my mind can become a mental zoo sometimes. And I have to battle it. It's radical. Don't let your mind be a, a mental zoo. Oh, here's one. Number 40, human stupidity. Let's see what this is all about. Satan and stupidity must be studied together, for evil and ignorance relate closely. Badness is madness. Stupidity is the absence of spiritual wisdom. A man can run his business adequately and still be spiritually stupid. A stupid person does not see himself as stupid, which makes him a terribly horrible human being. His mind is stuffed with useless clippings from yesterday's news, which he proudly calls his library. Intelligence starts with awareness of personal stupidity. <sighs> you know, that's one of these things that, that I try to convey on, on my channel here is, I know I don't have all the information. I am, I, I'm real big about that is, is not digging into one way of thinking so hard that you have to stay in the trench. Don't be entrenched in your thinking. It's ignorance. Ignorance is stupidity and that's where the devil lives. Because if you're not willing to let new information come into your mind and adjust your perception, good luck with it, man. Good luck with that. Road signs, number 12. A sure way to defeat Satan is to recognize the consistency of truth. Truth cannot lie, never falters, is always the same bright light. Notice its consistent instructions to see hatred as self-destructive. To seek riches higher than the intellect. But falsehood is inconsistent, treacherous, and finally abandons you to your screams. 
Consistent truths are like road signs posted all the way through an unknown valley. You don't have you don't have anxiety. Think, just follow. You don't have to anxious you don't have to anxiously think, just follow. Truth, man, it's all about truth. Truths are are, are basic. Here we go. Number one, secret command. A story was written about an army general who knew every move of the of the enemy army was making. He was in command of the enemy because he had obtained their secret orders. You are now obtaining the plans that will place you in charge of everything that tries to hurt you. It can be called super wisdom. One way to acquire super wisdom is to see higher than your present wants. What you know now want is not all there is. That's it, man. Dig deep, baby. Dig deep, man. Because what what you think you want now to make you happy, if it's in the material world, it is going to leave you high and dry. Number 100. We're just going to bookend this video here. Number 100. New direction. Up to now, you have written your own life story containing many chapters you would like to forget. But just as an author of a novel can change the direction of his story at any time he likes, so can you. There is no need to continue to do what you always do or to play what you always dreadfully pay. You can write a new life story that grows more fascinating each day. And just as an author knows what his book is all about, you will know what your life is all about. Truth, man. Do not get stuck. It's all the same, man. Stop getting stuck in your stop getting stuck in your mental traps. If you want to order some of these books, there's the address and stuff. It, that that's it. It's I mean, we just did it on this on this YouTube channel over the last 3 months. Man, I changed the whole direction of my life. I changed the whole direction of my life. Just decided to start writing new, new, new script, you know, tired with the old script, started the new script. Anyway, I have a bunch of these 50 ways to get help from God, how to handle difficult people. What else? What other one do I got? Conquer anxiety and frustration. I just keep in my car whenever I need to check something out, you know, got a little time to kill like I do right now. I uh get down with some Vernon Howard, dude. All right, man. This is my ad for t-shirts and picture frames and all that kind of good stuff. Defeat Satan. Let go. Let God. The illusion is president t-shirt. The illusion is president t-shirt. Now it's time for the cheap commercialism part of my videos. We have the illusion stickers. Look at that dump on the status quo. We have those in large. We have those in small. We have the uh, dump bind of the status quo t-shirt in gray. And what other color we got, Max? And we also have the bowl cut maintenance in gray, blue, black. Do we have it in red? We got it in red. And this is what red looks like. Yeah, man, look at that. And the Universe Will Provide shirt. Yeah, a little homage to Bill Murray via me, huh? huh? Yeah, we like that in red. We got that in gray. I think we got some pink bowl cut maintenance ones coming. Yeah, 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 for the ladies, yeah. And then the red, red bowl cut maintenance. So look, that's the end of the commercial ad here. The links are down below. Order a t-shirt. Max, come here. This is my partner in crime. He's getting married. So let's buy some t-shirts. Let's keep the wheels rolling here, people. Thanks for your support. Thanks for your love. Send any pictures you got wearing your t-shirt, man. We get super fired up on that. Thank you.